Okay, partsbreakers.com, Jeeps Unlimited, uh, USA LLC, that's our, uh, that's our, what we're known locally and what we've been known since 1984, um, but otherwise known now as parts breakers, and that's a whole nother story, but um, anyway, I filmed these a couple weeks ago when they came in, and uh, just first and foremost, you don't want to watch the video, just want to give us a call for any Jeep parts, that's going to be 303-666-9020, and what we specialize in is basically anything Jeep. Some of the little models, the Patriots, Compasses, Liberty, stuff like that. We get in every once in a while, but um, we really like to do what we enjoy. And that's our CJs, Wranglers, uh, Grand Cherokee, Cherokee XJs, and, and the bunch. So um, anyway, so that's how you get a hold of us if you don't want to watch the video. You're just looking for G parts. Hit me with anything. I mean, I've been known to get find some of the rare parts. So bolts nah i'm kind of hard you know those are hard I and mean, we don't keep very good track of them we try to with the rare ones but i can't always do that if you do need a weird bolt or bracket uh, actually brackets i'm pretty good at but you know something odd um send me an email if you got a photo or a part number that will really help out and that give me time to look at it you know when i'm at night doing um catch up work and stuff so okay so partsbreakers.com that's where you can view i would say 50 percent of our inventory I'm trying to get it to 100%, but uh, answering the phone and employees and all that, it, it does take some time. So um, we're not quite there. Been doing it a long time. Should be there, but uh, we're getting there, but not not all the time. And we grow. This new site lets us grow organically. So if we don't have it listed and you call about it and we sell it to you, um, if it's a part we're going to continue to have in, we'll list it right there on the spot. So it'll actually become part of our inventory as we sell to you. And because we do that, and on those kind of parts, uh, we don't sometimes know what they are or know what they're worth. Uh, we usually give the first guy um, the, the, the best price, you know, kind of helping us or grow uh, and whatnot. So anyway, uh, what are these guys? Well, these are crates, as you can see. And there are nine in total, eight big ones and one little one there. And what they have inside are JL, so 2018 and newer, uh, Pinastar V6 with the matching eight-speed automatic transmissions now the way we're going to sell them is we're going to sell the engine and then and then and, and also uh the transmission separately not together if you need them together or want them together um that's okay just call me i'll work you out a deal it's all it's all good um but i wanted to show you the unveiling of them obviously um we got them shipped to us sight unseen going off the word of a very reputable and very good highly rated shop that was doing as you can see hellcat and um hemi and ls and you name it swaps and so a lot of these if not all of these were uh takeouts like meaning like they weren't like driven a little while no these things were literally taken from the dealership sometimes shipped from the dealership uh to the shop and the engines, uh, the stem was pulled and then um, put in this crate uh, for later use. They were hoping to do uh, probably something with them at later time, hoping to uh, just sit on them until, you know, they could sell them or handle them themselves. And essentially they moved. Uh, they were sitting in the back of the shop and uh, through a, a means of another person, we were able to get a hold of them. We like to do, to, we love to buy takeouts and have done it over the years. And it's always worked really well um, for us and for our customers. So it gives you an opportunity to get something that's essentially brand new um, for a lot less than the dealer goes. And so what we'll do with these, the way we'll price these is we'll go and uh, clearly if there looks like it's more used and it's going to be a little hard to tell mileage, but I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to tell when you look at something at least somewhat um so you know we'll base it a little bit off of that but then we'll also take the the retail price that jeep is getting and we'll do online it won't be a local dealer price so they'll already be a little bit lower than what you're going to find at your local dealership and then we'll have that and that's what we've really been known for for years and then we throw a warranty on it obviously we have um several of these units that we can back it up um there's no reason that you're going to need need uh warranty but it is something kind of a peace of mind so without further ado let's do the unveil unveil unveiling unveiling however you say that uh of this first one i i guess i i've already unveiled this one it was the little one and it is the um uh the torque converter i have in the garage is draining right now 
we try it will everything has to be drained before we ship so these will have to be drained if there's and they will be fluid in these I'm, I'm i'm almost positive of it i can't imagine they took the time to drain them all um but as you can see there's not a drop of oil uh there's barely any dust on these things so um it is very uh very you know possible that these have less than a thousand miles on them which is awesome and so um you know out of the crate out of the box bolt on you're going to be looking at uh whenever the eight speed and i'm actually not even familiar with it yet uh, because these are so new we just haven't got any jls in the yard yet and probably won't for a few years so this is a good opportunity if you're trying to buy a, a used motor or used transmission or doing a conversion uh, this is a good opportunity to nab one of these guys up um, part numbers will be in our listing so definitely if you're watching the video on youtube um, take a look at our website uh, there'll be a link in the youtube video that goes to each of the engine and the transmission and if you have a jail and you've blown your motor or blown your trans or want a backup or want a good deal on a backup uh, definitely give us a shout so um, although i've heard nothing but good things about these eight speeds uh, i know they haven't been out for a long time but they're supposed to be very robust and durable but i guess time will tell on that so anyway so that's the little one that was in the little crate that's the only one that didn't come with an engine paired to it okay everything else had uh the other eight of them i got here have um this so we call them a stem so that's going to be your engine and your uh transmission of course the torque converter does come with it again that will come with this one i just wanted to get it drained and then we'll again have to drain this before we ship it as well uh, we don't want them to make a mess plus it's highly illegal to ship uh, things fluids in them unless they're completely sealed and in this case they're not there's lines that are open and stuff like that so um, but we'll we'll wrap it and make sure we'll put it back in the crate um, if we still have these crates available which we should uh, we'll ship them in these um, if you're doing local pickup you know just let us know um, and we'll go from there so that takes care of that guy now this one I haven't even popped other than undoing these screws I thought it'd be kind of cool to experience it with people were watching these because these this is kind of fun you know it's got like a big present in a way so let's see if what we got is what they said they sent uh, i'm gonna break this wood is not cheap right now so i'm gonna do my best to save all of the pieces of these crates okay all right so there's the engine and it looks like the injector harness may be part of the engine harness. I'll have to look into that. We usually sell that stuff separate. Um, I probably won't pull them. So if it's something you want to be left on, uh, we can work that out when you call us. I mean, this thing's still got the belts on it. And you can see, as just like that transmission, I mean, there's literally dust. That's that's all you got on this thing there's no oil residue there's no nothing anywhere on this thing so and obviously this is just for show not really you can't really tell much by functionality but clearly um, clearly it represents a takeout which is exactly you know sometimes people say they're takeouts and I've seen them like yeah sure it's a takeout of a million mile vehicle you know but um, you know there's this is definitely not the case here the heads are beautiful intake is gorgeous so and then of course the tranny and i would i'll make make sure but there's a part number down on these guys and i'll make sure those match um and we'll get you all the details should be able to tell exactly what year they came out of um which will tell us probably the mileage if it's a, obviously a 2018 it's going to be older i would bet well, it depends on when they pulled them, I guess. So these could have been 2018s and pulled and just stored right away. So cool. So yeah, this is awesome. And I expect the rest of them to be this way. I'm only going to do one video and um, for both the transmission and engine. And then I will put um, separate ads, but I'm not going to list all the engines. So if we see one that's not in as good or better shape than this, obviously basically new, I'm not going to... It is used, you gotta, it's not a new motor, it is a used motor. Uh, low mileage, very, very low mileage. But um, if we come across one that's got, you know, visible signs of more wear on it, um, we'll put that one to a side and relist that one later. 
I just want you to make sure, I do videos on everything. If you watch my YouTube channel, I mean, it's probably boring as hell, but it's just product videos, tons of product videos. I've been doing it for a long time, and I really, really enjoy shipping things because when I get things in the mail, I just have always enjoyed that, and it's even better when you get something that you're at least expecting, or maybe it's even better than your expectations, and that's really what I want to make sure um, here uh, as well. So, um, okay, if there's anything I missed, showing you that you would have liked to see a close-up or want to see the back of the JL motor because it's sitting in your Jeep and you have no idea what you're looking at trying to install a part give me a call I'd be happy to take a short video of that specific part if it's something I can get to easily um, this one will be fully uncrated so I'll just have some good close-up um, uh, photos but again I will not take any more videos of these unless somebody's asking for something specific um, they'll just be a series of photos and then I will cross-reference, make sure the, the blocks, the actual engines are all the same. If they're not, we'll list those individually for what they are. Um, I'll check interchange the best I can. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on JKs. And I can tell you right now, this looks different. I don't know exactly what. I would imagine something emissions. Coil packs might be different. The valve cover, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. This looks pretty similar. That might be a little different webbing on it. Um, and the reason I say that is because I guarantee I'm going to get 100 calls on this being compatible with the JK. And I don't know the answer to that right now. Um, if I had a JK here that needed a motor, I'd throw it in just to see if it works. Uh, but I don't. So, And that might be a possibility eventually, but I don't know if we'll still have these by then. So um, you'll have to do the research on that side of it. I don't want to take the liability or responsibility on that. Um, but I've had you know friends of mine who have a good friend, actually, is an employee as well, Jake. Um, you know, he's had a uh, Hemi in his Grand Cherokee, actually his commander, for years. And people have told him, no, you got to use this year to this year. And boy, has he proved everybody wrong. He's blown his, his heads a few times and he's used them from like 2002 all the way up to 2015. So I guess if there's a will, there's a way. Uh, but for bolt-on, we know for sure, definitely JL. And uh, again, I'll put the interchange in there for what I can find. On them. This is the V6. I know the Jeep JL comes with several different engine options. This is the gasoline V6 Pent Pentasar, I believe is how they say it. Um, and then I believe this is an possibly an ASIN. I'll have to double check on that who builds this tranny for them. Um, I'm not sure on that entirely, but it is an eight speed and I'll get the model number on that eight speed for you as well. And then I'll, I'll do my best to get interchange. That should be easy because there's a part number right there on it. So. All right, I appreciate everything. Again, if you're not looking for JL, JK, or you know any of that, you know, I mean, you can take a look around. This is small. This is obviously just the front yard. We have seven acres in the back, literally seven acres of mostly rust-free, unwrecked Jeep parts. We almost buy everything off the road. I very rarely buy. I would say this: 90% is going to be rust-free, unwrecked Jeep sitting in this yard. 10%. We bought it, somebody pulled in, wrecked it. We buy this thing and we'll take it and we'll get our harnesses and anything good out of it and then we, we crush the rest. So we really specialize in our frames and tubs. Uh, we sell the heck out of those things. I would say two or three a week go out. Um, I keep thinking we're gonna run out and I, I know eventually we will, uh, but for right now we're, we're, we're going solid. So if you need a CJ or a YJ or a TJ tub frame, anything like that, give us a shout axles um tons of axle options usually i got some really nice rubicon axles right now those are the lockers and whatnot so cool all right thanks a lot thanks for spending 15 minutes with me